Hello friends, it's Carla, your online doctor with today's Live in 5. Today is Thursday, January 14th. It is 5 p.m. There are kids outside screaming and having a great time. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear that on my phone. And my phone is sliding off the counter. So, we're having fun here. Stay. Okay, let's hope it stays. Anyway. Sorry I was not live on Tuesday. Life has just been crazy. So, as we start 2021, many people look to new exercise programs, weight loss programs, and detox and cleanses to get things started on the right foot, right? In my opinion, the most effective way is to start a detox quote-unquote program and continue to live that lifestyle, a low tox or no tox lifestyle, okay? So this is not something you do for a week, okay? And say, I did it, I'm good, check. Doesn't work that way, okay? There is no way to detox for a week and then go back to your toxic lifestyle, okay? That's like asking an alcoholic to stay sober for a week and then they can go back to drinking, okay? It just is impossible. You're not gonna get anywhere, you're gonna not see the results you want, and you're gonna get um, frustrated, and you're gonna say, well, it didn't work, okay? So toxic overload is truly an epidemic. The massive number of chemicals used in our homes, in our cleaning products, in our personal care products, um, anything with fragrance, in our cookware, in our, in our you know, products, that we, sheets, mattresses, doesn't matter what you buy, there are chemicals. The list is very long. Now, unless you live in an antiseptic bubble, you can't avoid toxins completely. Just isn't going to happen. Our bodies are designed to get rid of toxins, which is a good thing, but they also reach a limit. We have like a capacity. I wish we had a meter that we could say, oh, we're at the meter level, you know, like stop being toxic, but we don't. But when we exceed that limit that your body can get rid of toxins, that's when disease starts to set in. Okay, in a normal healthy body, we can eliminate normal toxic exposures, daily chronic low dose exposures. But what really is what really is normal? Like we don't know that. Besides what I've mentioned, we also have environmental exposure, including pollutants in the air, in your water, and in your food, including pesticides. So we're just getting inundated from all different angles by toxic exposure. Now, toxic accumulation is not something that often happens overnight. You know, it's not a nuclear power plant leak and you were exposed. This is a day-to-day -day exposure that just eventually surpasses your body's ability to get rid of these toxins, and that's when you get sick. It's a gradual microaccumulation over the course of years. So think about your health. Symptoms to look for that are unexplained, okay? So it may not be a specific disease, but if you have digestive problems or mood disturbances, headaches, fatigue, pains, or soreness, and again, unexplained, okay? If you went to the gym and you worked out and you got sore the next day, that's understandable, okay? But you also want to look at allergies, cancer, autoimmune disorders, right? Impaired memory or concentration, insomnia, hormone imbalance. All of these may also be linked to a toxic overload situation or chronic toxic exposure. So if you're concerned, you need to see a doctor, okay? If you're concerned about a specific thing, if you think you've been exposed to heavy metals or you know something serious, you wanna get checked. But th there are basic tests that can be done and also more extensive ones for specific exposures, like I said, such as heavy metals. But if you're the average person with chronic exposure, you can try cleaning up your lifestyle, your home, etc., and try daily uses of things. Like for one of the things I do, I use essential oils, okay? I, this is a way of life for me. It is not a one-time thing. I don't say, oh, I like this. I'm gonna just diffuse this today and I feel like I'm gonna be better. It doesn't work that way. Okay, daily inhalation, daily topical application, and for some, including myself, daily internal use of essential oils. Again, a brand that I trust, Young Living, has a vitality line, an internal use line, which I feel comfortable using in small amounts, 
you know, a drop here or a drop there internally to help my body get rid of toxic overload. Okay, some of the oils I personally use include lemongrass, lemon myrtle, lemon. These are high in citral, known to have high antioxidant capacity. But other oils, rosemary, valerian, peppermint, spearmint, and myrrh. Okay, depending on what the source you read, you will find others. Okay, many other essential oils that are going to help with toxic exposure. Now, my opinion is not finding the right one. It's starting to use them daily and using a variety of oils because studies show that they do work. They have lots of oils that have antioxidant properties to assist your body's ability to detox. Okay, detox baths, daily diffusing, like I said, in, the, in, in a diffuser, inhaler blends, things that you can get into your body, oil pulling, okay, that's something people do, um, you know, where you're putting oils, essential oils with coconut oil in your mouth to help get that bacteria out of your mouth, um, and so many other options, okay. We have an essential oil group called Oils 101 where we do a lot of educating on this kind of thing. Um, any interest in learning more about how essential oils can help you detox as we start this 2021, send me a message. Um, let me know if you want to join the group. We can get, you know, you can join for a couple of days, a week, a month, just to get an idea if, if it's right for you. But understand, this is a lifestyle. This is not a one time, you know, once and done. It doesn't work that way. You need to really commit just like a weight loss program where you decide to lose weight, if you're gonna lose weight, you are gonna you have to change the way you live. You can't just crash diet for a week and say, I'm good, now I can go back to eating bad, okay? So, that's what I have for you today. Hopefully, you're starting your 2021 better than 2020, better than some of the things thrown at me in the last couple of weeks, but it's all good. We're staying positive in 2021, and we're continuing to live a healthy lifestyle. So on that note, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you again next week on Tuesday for the next Live in 5.